travel to another planet, fight a race of bloodthirsty aliens, or uncover a corporate conspiracy in a cyberpunk world. All this is now possible right in your own home. And sci-fi is the best genre that allows moviegoers to be transported to other worlds for a few hours without getting up from their comfortable armchair. Hello everybody, and welcome to my channel. Today I've got 10 great sci-fi movies that are definitely worth watching. And remember, these are not new releases, just great sci-fi. Some smart, some entertaining, some out of the ordinary. And I've got a lot more interesting stuff in store for you, so feel free to subscribe so you don't miss the next episodes. Make yourselves comfortable and have a great time watching. Freaks, a movie with an unusual concept. It begins with a girl named Chloe, who is forced by her father to memorize details about her fake mother, so as not to give herself away with the wrong answers. Although her father tells her very little about the outside world, she believes he is simply concerned for her safety. But there are still many things she doesn't understand. What is so dangerous out there? Why does Chloe sometimes wake up in a different house? Why does a chained woman appear in her visions? And why is it forbidden to go outside? The movie is best watched without knowing the premise, which the trailer and synopsis give away anyway. And yet, the movie is actually mysterious and fascinating, even if the viewer assumes that everything that happens is not what it seems. The plot develops in directions that are almost impossible to predict until the finale, when you don't know what to believe and are lost in speculation. Freaks is less about flashy CGI and more about family relationships and a clever, well-crafted plot. And that's why the story, whose outlines are already familiar to every viewer, works. Oxygen. Liz wakes up in a sealed capsule and a built-in artificial intelligence tells her that she has less than two hours to remember everything about herself and get a fresh supply of air. Although this situation is reminiscent of Buried, Oxygen is a unique sci-fi movie. It takes place almost entirely inside a cryogenic chamber, but thanks to inventive direction and convincing acting, it remains tense and exciting. Oxygen is an example of how sci-fi, while having a fascinating scientific component, shows how technology may affect our lives in the future. The plot of the movie, as Liz tries to survive in a medical capsule with a limited supply of oxygen unfolds slowly, but then becomes increasingly suspenseful as we learn how she found herself in this situation. The strong visual effects and musical accompaniment, as well as the horror elements, further convince us of the professionalism of the team that filmed it. Overall, Oxygen is one of the best sci-fi movies released by Netflix. Its strong conceptual idea has been beautifully brought to life, ensuring a thrilling and satisfying experience for the viewer. The Soul. This Chinese sci-fi horror thriller is set in the year 2031. The billionaire owner of a biotech company developing a futuristic cure for cancer is murdered by his son. Occult signs were painted on the walls and the killer performed the ritual. Two years ago, the boy's mother ended her life by performing a ritual as well, believing she would return to curse her husband. The murdered man's new wife is acting strangely, as if possessed, and says she sees the dead woman's spirit, and the case, with the help of the detective's wife, is being handled by a prosecutor weakened by illness. Yes, there's a lot going on here, and that's just the synopsis. In addition to murder and the occult, the movie uses futuristic technology, flashbacks, and personality shifts. The movie is complex, with a huge amount of detail, but fascinating. The director successfully combines Chinese tradition, science fiction, love, and crime, which makes the movie unique. The cast is solid, especially since such a genre requires serious acting. The visual effects, which embody a futuristic city on the screen, are perfectly executed. The CGI, animation, and effects artists did an incredible job. Boss Level the movie tells the story of Roy Pulver, a former Special Forces operative who relives the moment of his death every day, pursued by assassins who he must constantly fend off. He turns to Gemma, a scientist, for help. She discovers that her boss, Colonel Ventor, is planning something extremely dangerous and secret and may have a clue to Roy's problem. The movie is beautifully paced and has an optimal length of an hour and a half. It's not boring. Some scenes may even have been cut to keep the pacing consistent, but what is left is more than enough to keep the viewer intrigued. The movie is superbly shot, with an extremely talented cast, and the lead role itself looks perfect for Frank Grillo. Another plus is that the action starts right away, which allows the viewer to not be distracted by a lot of backstory and to always stay interested. If you like action, comedy, and science fiction together, this movie is definitely worth seeing. Blade Runner 2049. The events take place in the year 2049 in Los Angeles. Most of the archival records were erased or corrupted after the 2022 blackout. Tyrell Corporation went out of business and replicant production was outlawed until the arrival of Neander Wallace, who creates a new, more compliant model. The story centers on Kay, who hunts for old Nexus 8 replicants under Police Lieutenant Joshi. Blade Runner is a masterpiece and one of the most beloved movies by many sci-fi fans. The visuals of the sequel are as striking and praiseworthy as the visuals of the original 
original movie. 2049 continues the story in a natural way, expanding on the themes introduced in the first film, and despite the amount of environmental scenes, is not overly drawn out. The main character is compelling, and the new concepts don't break continuity. Blade Runner 2049 manages the difficult task of being a successful sequel to a classic film, creating a self-sustaining universe that would still look as good decades from now as the first part did 40 years ago. Dune. Frank Herbert's Dune has been adapted twice, first by David Lynch in 1984 and then as a mini-series by John Harrison in 2000. In 2021, the sci-fi epic was adapted by Denis Villeneuve and received 6 out of 10 Oscar nominations. The second part of the movie is already in production and Villeneuve is still directing. The new movie is easier to take than previous adaptations. The acting and music are impressive, but most of all, the visual effects are fascinating. The action sequences are epic, the staging is impressive, and the audience can practically see themselves themselves alongside the characters. The story is shrouded in a mystical atmosphere in which the protagonist, Paul Atreides, learns of his destiny as the Messiah promised by the legends, the man who will gain great power over the planet. The setting, costumes, characters, and intrigue are reminiscent of both Game of Thrones and Star Wars. Add to that Hans Zimmer's score, the sound design is impeccable. Overall, the movie is an excellent piece of work and one of the best movies in recent years. The movie Little Fish is the story of a couple trying to keep each other intact in a world where memory is disappearing. The disease gradually affects people's memory and is incurable. When Emma's husband begins to show symptoms, she begs him to participate in testing a new cure. At the heart of the film is their love story, pieced together from fragments of memory. The movie is a simple love story turned tragic by a virus. It is a slow and depressing journey to the inevitable, showing how beautiful memories, including an unforgettable scene with a little fish, are shattered by harsh reality. The acting is superb, the dialogue impeccable, the production superb. It is truly art and cinema at its best. Moonfall. In 2011, the astronauts were attacked by a mysterious black swarm that killed one of them and incapacitated the other. A third astronaut miraculously saved himself and his teammate and returned to Earth, but no one believes his story. Ten years later, he is joined by conspiracy theorist Hausman, who discovers that the moon has left its orbit and is moving toward Earth. Thus begins a strange adventure involving conspiracy theories about a hollow moon, a secret alien base, and everything else. The movie Moonfall is not like typical movies about saving the world from the predictable threat of the moon. It is full of unexpected and absurd twists and turns, and could certainly be one of the strangest blockbusters of 2022. However, I'll be honest, the dialogues in the movie are terrible, the talented actors play badly, the script is written as if the writers have never spoken to a living person in their lives. Also, the movie is full of logical holes that make it incredibly ridiculous. However, it is worth mentioning that the CGI effects in the movie are worthy of attention, and that seems to be what it was made for. It's a pure popcorn movie, spectacular, loud, vivid, totally pointless, well, yes. But its main goal is to immerse the viewer in a whirlpool of special effects for a couple of hours, and it succeeds perfectly. Eternals. Eternals are immortal creatures whose mission is to destroy deviants. 7,000 years ago, 10 Eternals with different abilities were sent to Earth. The main action takes place in present-day London, where one of the Eternals faces an attack by the deviants. She must bring them all together to face the threat. Eternals represents Marvel's more mature approach to its film comics. The movie includes social commentary, explicit scenes, and popular actors. It was a risky departure from a tried-and-true formula for Marvel, and it didn't work. The movie is quite long and the characters lack charisma. Ten godlike creatures clumsily try to pass themselves off as mere humans. The visual effects are impressive and look realistic and stylish. The movie is well made, but all in all, it is the CGI fest you would expect from a comic book-based movie. Disney's big budget made it possible to create a beautiful picture. Tron Legacy. Sam Flynn is Kevin's tech-savvy and courageous son, who falls into the grid while investigating his father's disappearance. With the help of the mysterious Quora, he must stop the digital dictator clue from infiltrating the real world. The movie Tron Legacy is still impressive today. All the elements, including the visuals, the script, and the acting, still work beautifully. Especially noteworthy is the soundtrack, which hasn't aged a bit after 13 years. Another advantage of the movie is its excellent musical composition. It complements and beautifies the movie. Tron Legacy is entertaining enough but it is not an action movie, as some viewers expect and as the trailer shows. However, if you are looking for a visual treat, this movie is worth seeing. It stays true to the style of the original and can be a special treat for those who are new to the world of Tron. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click the buttons below the player. And see you in the next issue. Bye.